Hey guys, Whoop, this fitness wearable is gonna help you achieve your fitness goals in 2024. This watch can do X, Y, Z. This watch won't do shit. I don't wear watches. I didn't have a cap, but I have this legitimate cowboy hat from Alberta, Calgary, where I was once situated. Yeehaw. Go flames. <clears throat> Moving on with today's video. We are going to hit chest today. It's really my upper body day, but I just love saying hitting chest and we're hitting the bench in true bro fashion. Nobody cares about the rest of the workout. People want to know if you're hitting chest and bench. So that's what I'm saying. Even though it's a full upper body workout, it's chest and bench day. Before we move on to that workout, before we get going, I'm going to talk a little bit about my plans for this year. I plan on doing a bulk this year. Bulk seems to be like a dirty word, but I don't plan on getting fat. It's gonna be a lean gain, or at least I'll try to make it that way. It's the first time since I was 19 that I've actually actively tried to bulk and put on size. So I'm gonna be 27 this year, and so it's been Seven years. It's been seven years since I've tried to put on size. And why I've decided to do this is because <clears throat> if you want to get big, you must eat big. You cannot just go to the gym and not eat. You can't, that is not fueling your body. If you want to be big, like me, Arnold, you have to lift heavy, eat a lot of food, chicken, protein, yes. Big chest like me. <laughs> but yeah, I want to get bigger. And I'm at a point in my life where I'm very routined at the moment with work, everything, training. And also from living in Canada, living in Canada, shit was expensive in terms of groceries. Like groceries in Ireland, we are blessed. We can get great quality food for such a cheap price. So I'm going to eat up. I'm going to use that to my advantage and eat up and try and get a little bit bigger. But here's what we're not going to do. We're not going to get fat. We're not going to use it as an excuse to eat whatever the fuck we want and not consider eating healthy as well. And we are not going to avoid cardio. So with this bulk, I'm going to keep my health in mind. I'm going to go for daily walks. I'm going to include cardio once a week. I also do jiu-jitsu twice a week. It's kind of cardio. But I'm going to do um, a proper cardio session once a week. It's at the end of my arm day on Sunday. And that's just to keep me a little bit healthier. As I get bigger, I find it's harder to fucking breathe. My fitness is, get, is getting poorer. And overall, your quality of life kind of goes down a bit if you're a little bit too big. So as I get bigger, I can combat those lousy feelings of being bigger by doing my cardio, going for walks outside, and still including plenty of fiber, fruits, and veggies in my diet. This way of doing it is probably a smarter way of bulking. I'll be able to do it for longer because um, it's probably going to be more sustainable that way. A lot of the time when people bulk, they just eat too much and eat, eat like shit. And then they get uncomfortable with how they look. They shit the bed and then the bulk, they abandon it. So we're not going to do that. We're going to see how long we can keep this going because you need bulking in order to build muscle you need to give it time. It takes way longer to build muscle than it does to lose fat. So we need to be somewhat patient here. So that's the plan. And why I'm doing this, I'm also doing this to help facilitate my lifts. The main one being the bench press. I want to hit a 170 kilogram bench press this year. I'm not a power lifter. I'm just a gym bro who wants to bench big. Men are obviously gonna find this extremely beneficial, but women would find this beneficial too. Women 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 you guys don't realize that the results you're often looking for are not found in fat loss or dieting all the time if you spend time with your calories just at maintenance and slightly above and try and build muscle often the results are so much better and if you choose to diet down the line then after a period of maintenance and eating on slightly higher calories and training on higher calories getting stronger building more muscle that, uh, that gives you that toned look you're looking for. So I'd actually like some women to 
take some things from this as well because I understand your insecurities. You don't want, you don't want to see the scale go up. You don't want to get fat. I don't want to get fat. I want to see the scale go up, but I don't want to get fat. Um, so you guys, you guys, if there's any women who watch this, I highly doubt it, aside from my girlfriend. Um, hopefully you take some things from this too. And then by the end, in classic YouTuber fashion, I'll do a fucking massive cut and see, I haven't, I haven't properly dieted in, a, dieted in a long time either since my last competition. Well, no, I dieted for four weeks last year for a jiu-jitsu competition. That was just to get my weight down. It was four weeks, four kilos in four weeks. But I haven't done a proper 12, 16, 20, 24 week. I've done 24 weeks before. I haven't done that in a long time. So maybe at the end of all this, we'll <laughs> strip down and see how we're looking. Too much talking. Let's go lift. Light work. Oh yeah, Kali. Kali. <laughs> what is the plan for your first set? Lift the weight and hope it doesn't crush me. And what are you attempting to lift? 110 kilos. 110. Yeah. Yeah. You got rubbed that. Why are you doing 110? My ego, try and keep up my big brother. What's Kyle get? 110 for? Three. And you're hoping to get 110 for four? I do near three and a half. Let's do it. Do you want to tell people about your OnlyFans? It's good shit. Unadulterated. Unfiltered. That raw. That raw shit. Mm Back that shit. Strong. Lockout. Nice. Is that seven reps? No, five. Six. Nice.
Watch this pervert walk across my camera. Oh my god, this annoying guy. Who else hates videos with this voice? That is pretty much the end of the session. I hope you enjoyed and took something from this video. We had a great time. I was happy I got 130 for four by five. The road to 170 is on, the bulk is on. And yeah, Keith and I, that's my older brother. We had a great time eating up those weights and just throwing those motherfuckers around. It's a good thing we train in a private gym. <laughs> that shit would have fucked someone up. But yeah, thanks for watching and We'll see you in the next one.